Hi everyone. Um, as the title suggests, we're working on the midsection today. And um, while I will argue that all of my workouts will engage and strengthen the core, today we're just going to fo focus more on that. Although there aren't like obvious crunches and things like that, but it's just going to allow you to become almost more aware of your core and uh, the different ways that you can activate it. That's not just in the um, run of the mill obvious ones. So anyway, um, there's 10 exercises, so a lot of variety. There's going to be two rounds. We're going to be using interval timing today and for the more advanced exercise people, there's going to be a long effort period. So it's going to be like one minute long. Um, so it's going to really um, challenge the core and you're going to have 25 seconds rest. For those of you who are intermediate and beginners, then on my blog you will have um, alternative timing options. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to do the two continuous rounds because in between I'm going to do some pull-ups and I'm just going to work to my maximum on the pull-ups each time. So one set halfway through the workout and one set at the very end and um, I'm hoping that um, working to my maximum will help maintain the strength but also that I recently discovered uh, via a Brett Pedrez site that the pull-up is actually one of the better exercises to activate the lower abdominal muscles, which I didn't know. So, um, in fact, more, more beneficial than the hanging leg raises. So I want to be really focusing on feeling that today because obviously when you're doing a pull-up you're focusing on your upper body but I just want to feel it more and try to maintain a neutral position of my torso and lower body um, because I have a bad habit of uh, flexing when I'm going up so um, the legs are coming forward too much especially as I fatigue so it's something to watch um, anyway, I'm going to get warmed up now and make a start of the workout and I'll see you at the end So that's another one for the book. Um, I mean, that was a really good workout. Makeup melter, definitely. 
and uh, I don't know what's happened into my hair right now, but um, it's worth it. It's worth it looking like crap but feeling great. Um, so particular exercises that stand out for me were, um, well, the stability ball pikes, definitely challenging. I mean, if you have any way tight hamstrings, you'll certainly feel it in that. But also the control that you need in your core, just to allow yourself to fold, like almost fold, um, keeping everything straight. Um, love that one. Then, um, oh, those static glute bridges, single leg with eight kilograms um, on my waist or on my pelvis, that was hard. Um, I'm a big fan of those, but my my butt was on fire, and you know it really helps to stabilize the core as well. And then you're getting the work into the glutes, and the, you can feel it in the hamstrings as well. But you shouldn't be feeling it more in the hamstrings than the glutes. You should really be feeling it um, right burning inside the glute and then a little bit in the hamstrings as well. Um, if you're getting cramps in the hamstrings, then um, you're maybe not activating the glute enough. So just a little tip there. Um, anyway, as for pull-ups, well, they didn't go as well as I did the other day. Um, I nearly got six in the first one, I just had to give up. But in the second time around, it just about got five. So it kind of shows you obviously being tired after the first, uh, the second round of the workout. But um, gotta love this type of workout, working on endurance, which I need to. Um, the longer intervals, uh, I mean, even though you're having that longer rest, you do need it. So don't be thinking, oh, 25 seconds, that's awful long. It's not when you're doing a minute effort, especially when you come to things like the burpees and the eagle jumps, even the swings, I mean, you're glad for that rest afterwards. Um, so just um, bear with it and see how you get on before making any judgments. Um, anyway, as usual, come to my blog, myonmytv.com, to leave any feedback, get full details of the workout, and if you have any queries or whatever, just leave a comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And feel free to join in the forum. I have lots of discussions going on there as usual, and uh, you can get to that via the site. So um, until next time, enjoy the workout, and I'll see you soon.